Shooting low light video with an iPhone or any mobile device can be quite challenging. The technology behind shooting video and taking pictures with our mobile devices has become extraordinary over the years. But due to the small sensor size, capturing good pictures and videos in low light can be quite challenging as it introduces tons of noise into our images. So today I thought I would share with you guys some steps for getting the best possible low light performance when shooting with your iPhone. And that all starts with tip number one. When it comes to shooting low light, the goal is to capture as much information as possible in all aspects of the image, with shadows, midtones, and highlights, without introducing a lot of noise in the image. It's usually best to let the shadows fall into darkness so that we can get usable information in our highlights and midtones without introducing noise. The first thing we need to do is use manual camera controls. The built-in camera controls for iPhone will not give us enough flexibility to get the best image in low light. That's why we need to use an app like Filmic Pro. A video camera app like Filmic Pro will help you achieve the results that I'm about to go over right now. First, we need to shoot at the highest resolution and bitrate possible. I'm currently shooting on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. When I set up my shot, I'll need to shoot at 4K 10-bit and use the Filmic Extreme codec for the best possible image available on my device. Be sure to lock in your ISO at its lowest setting. Only increase the ISO as a last resort. If you do have to increase the ISO, play around with your ISO settings to get the best balance between exposure and the amount of noise in the image. You will need to use the fastest lens available to you on your device. On my iPhone 12 Pro Max, the fastest lens available is the wide aperture at f1.6. Be sure to use the fastest lens available to you on your device to get the best image in low light. If the image is still underexposed at this point, you can try to drop your shutter speed. This will introduce more motion blur, but the image will have less noise. Once we have the best settings dialed in and you're using the best lens, the next step is to set up your scene for the best possible results. If you are making a film and you have control over the lighting setup, I would suggest using more light than you think you're going to need. If you follow this channel, you'll know that I love to make horror films. And quite often, horror movies take place in darker settings. I found that I usually end up using way brighter lighting setups than I think I will need when I first start shooting. I make sure I shoot the cleanest, brightest image I can while still retaining some shadows. Then, once I get my image in post, I will darken the exposure and color grade as needed to get that dark nighttime look that I'm going for. If you followed all of the above steps and you still can't get a good low light image without introducing noise, there are a couple of things that you can still do in post. You can use noise reduction software in post if you have it available to you, but only use it when absolutely necessary and use it as sparingly as possible. Overusing noise reduction can tend to make your images look a little lifeless, in my opinion. If you have an image that has a lot of noise, you could try adding film grain to all of the shots in the project. This will help to hide any imperfections, help blend in the noise so it's not as noticeable. Just be sure to use it on all of the shots in your project if you use it on one shot, that way everything looks cohesive. And there you have it guys, that's everything that I can think of when it comes to getting better performance when shooting in low light with your iPhone. And please, if there's anything that you think I missed covering in this video, please share it with us in the comments below. Big thanks to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out their link in the description below for a free 30-day trial to check out their service and help support this channel. Also, give a big warm welcome to our newest channel member, Andre Van Den Hever. If you are interested in becoming a channel member just like Andre and gaining access to exclusive posts, early videos, and much, much more, be sure to click the join button located on the channel header to find out more. I hope you found this video very beneficial, and if you did, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to help this channel grow. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming along on this filmmaking journey with me. I am Ryan, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Getting ready to record, getting ready, getting ready to record.